So I've been working on my aerial a lot and I'm never really quite happy with it, but you know, who's happy with anything they do ever? Um, but these are the three things I just came through that I did today that I think helped me a lot and I want to pass them on to you to see if they help you as well. So the first thing is that um, I changed uh, my aerial approach. So I've been trying all kinds of things. I've been trying the Russian one. I've been trying this one like that. I've been trying to do this one and they all kind of work sometimes and then work don't work other times. So what I started to do this time is just think about, okay, what's the most basic thing this comes from? And that is from your cartwheel itself. And I've worked a lot on my round off last season and I had to fix it from doing this weird twist around thing, which would screw up my ankles every time I landed, to this like quarter in quarter out thing. So what I did instead is I think about when I did my cartwheel going down a line and I would go quarter in, out. So that means a quarter twist in, quarter twist out. Instead of doing this thing where I would come all the way around here, like that. Now I think that that has its purpose, but it's not helping me with my aerial. So this is what has helped me with my aerial, and this has to do with a lot of different things, muscle patterning, hip structure, ankle flexibility, split flexibility, everything like that. So first thing is that quarter in, quarter out thing, okay? As long, and the second thing is I go through these three different splits right before I do my deal. So excuse me, I'm gonna show you my butt for a second. But I come down here as far as I can and I try to stay as upright as possible. And then I go back and forth between here, middle, here. Now notice I don't have a very big middle split. I'm working on it. So I went back and forth between those before I did it and then I also did this stuff right here so if you watch me from the side okay I lean into the picnic table whatever you got and I lift my leg up as high as I can and I just hold it there one two three four five and then turn myself ah, to the side here one two three four five other side one two three four five and I turn it out one two three four five After doing all those things, then I did my aerial, and I thought about the quarter in, quarter out, and well, this is what it looks like now. Go towards you. Uh, camera cut out on me. Um, so after doing all those things, you can see I'm getting a much better uh, pop out of it, and it'll help me go into back lifts, flash kicks, fools, everything like that um, out of it. This is one version of the aerial that I do. I also do a side aerial, um, traveling to the side kind of, and I use that to kind of go out of combos. But this is the one that's kind of more linear, which gives me a lot of power to go into like a back flipping trick or something like that. So anyway, try it out, see if you like it. Last kind of thing I can tell you is that in any aerial you do, you gotta actively think about your split the whole way through. If you're not actively thinking about your split and trying to push the split through the move, you're gonna land either short or your legs are gonna come together in the middle and it kind of makes you drop or slow you down. So do the best you can to try and get your split to come all the way around so that way you have to do less work as far as actually jumping. Because if you notice, people who have amazing splits usually have pretty dang good aerials. Anyway, that's all I got for you. Hopefully it helps you out. Um, you also notice that when I go into this, that my arms, so I'll be like here, and then I just do this, and that works a lot better for me, just bringing them here versus swinging them back, doing that, whatever. Who knows, maybe I'll try this again a different day and it won't work, but let's see if it helps you out, okay? Try out your aerial, if you're working on it, or if you're having trouble and you kind of have a good one, try this one out, see if it works out for you, um, and uh, good luck.